For this next step, where I'm going to showcase the query tool functions, I've simplified what's drawn on the maps. Right now, I only have the shade model model extent turned on in the blue, and under auxiliary layers, the intrinsic potential of coho salmon in a light brown or orange. However, what I would like to see is the intrinsic potential of coho salmon above drawn on top of the shade model. So by doing this, by clicking here, I can move the auxiliary layers up on the list above the model extent. So now you can see that I can see the intrinsic potential drawn on top of the shade model model extent. So now we're going to do a query here. And when you open the query tool, you have four queries here under tasks. These have been designed specifically for this Coquille River watershed TMDL mapping tool. Right now, there's no results as we've done no queries. Back to the tasks tab, under intrinsic potential coho salmon, we are going to choose an intrinsic potential between 0 0.99 and 1. I'm going to expand this window more so it's easier to see our inputs. You can either spatially filter this by uh, another layer. You can choose another layer within the map and that it intersects with. You can also say just within the current map extent or return features that intersect with the shape that's drawn on the map. So let's say I'm only interested in intrinsic potential between 0.99 and 1 and a certain rectangular extent. And I'm going to draw a rectangular extent right here and execute this query. You'll see it working on its magic there. It creates a temporary layer which you will see underneath either operational layers over here. We'll close this. Or you can also see it adds it to your legend. It's a light, kind of a light green color drawn on top of auxiliary layers, which is drawn over the shade model extents. There are options on, on your results. You can zoom to them, which it does automatically. You can pan to them if it has, uh, if you've moved the map. Flashing them will just flash them bright orange several times. And there's three options to export this uh, query results. Uh, the CSV file is a comma separated file allowing you to open it or import it into Microsoft Excel or Access or other uh, database tabular uh, formats. Uh, the feature collection will allow you to export that to create a new shape file for GIS out of that. And the GeoJSON is allowing you to export it to a uh, online or web-based mapping uh, format. You can do statistics on your query. You can remove it altogether and start over, and you can view it in the attribute table. The attribute table is those attributes of the intrinsic potential coho salmon that met your uh, query settings, 0.99. So if I were to sort IP underscore coho, in other words, intrinsic potential coho, sort ascending, you'll see the lowest one is 0.9901. And of course, if I de descending, I get 0.9985 is the highest. If I wanted to, I can click on one of these and I can show selected records only and I could zoom to those selected records. I can zoom out to see where this record might be in relationship to the entire extent. There's several ways to do that. I could zoom to the whole query results and you'll notice that selected record is right here near Lone Pine Lane. That is an example of the first task under the query tool function using the intrinsic potential coho salmon query task. Next, I will go down and show an example of the StreamNet coho salmon query tool.